My name is Mike Floyd. I'm the lead responsible engineer at the um, Oyster Creek Station for the FSC expansion project. I've been involved in the nuclear um, power industry for approximately 30 years and involved in FSC projects for the past 15. Looked at the wheel lift transport mainly because we're out of space to expand our facility. We needed to put our HSMs closer together, approximately 40 feet from each other. Current um, transporter has been used in the industry, does not really allow much movement when you have less than 70 feet of space. Dorfer's wheel lift transporter can easily handle 40 feet and really all the way to 35, I would say. Another reason we like these, this particular uh, product better is because it only requires one operator and the operator operates the transporter remotely. With wheel lift transporter you can stay back 30 feet easily even further back and therefore you have lower dose. Also notice how quickly it is to operate. We found that you can get the transporter uh, within plus or minus, well our spec called for uh, plus or minus a 30 second of an inch. Um, actually, you can get down the order of magnitude a lot tighter up down to a 64th of an inch if you wanted to or even tighter than that. But um, it was real easy to place right on the spot. Uh, and again, that's less time, less dose. One, another thing I like about the um, Dorfer wheel lift is their grapple. It's an electric grapple instead of a hydraulic grapple. In our location at Oyster Creek, we have a very uh, small hatch in the reactor building and we actually have to move the transporter while it's being while it's loading a transfer cask and the door for uh, wheel of transporter allows us to move the transfer cask under control while it's being loaded. Another thing is the reliability of the transporter. Um, it has two sources of power, the diesel generator and also has a land line power system so if either one goes wrong you always have your backup you know another way of of operating it you don't have to rely upon one power source the difference between having a tugger and a trailer versus a modular transporter which has its own power supply on board is really just negligible as far as cost and overall savings really comes down to it is dose savings time savings schedule savings which is all savings and cost we found that Dorfer was able to maintain a schedule and cost right on budget. They were not late at all, right on time, easy to deal with. It gives you more bang for the buck, lower dose, people stay further away, things happen quicker. You can plan your schedule, your um, efficacy campaign right on the mark. And that's it in a nutshell.